Hi Aquarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 9th to the 15th of November. And I hope you are in, have enjoyed or will be have enjoyed the yearlies. It's taken me all week to do it and I'm still busy. So <clears throat> that's why these are will be a little bit shorter because I'm really tired. Okay. Uh, the first card that you have is the Queen of Pentacles. By the way, if you're new, welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and set your settings in YouTube and your device to be uh, allowed to receive notifications. Then you will know when new videos have loaded up and when I go live. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is basically mother, na uh, mother Nature. She represents or is also known as Mother Earth. She loves plants, she loves animals, she loves children and she's got the green touch. Her husband has the Midas touch so they've both got the magic touch. <laughs> so um, the time is fertile. Uh, fertile for new beginnings. This could be a birth of a child, this could be a birth of a new project. As she's always uh, initiating new projects, when one crop is growing, then the next crop is sown and that's how she continuously gets her returns. She nurtures everything and she makes sure they, it grows and it blossoms and so she can uh, pluck the harvest after the, it has blossomed. Again she is a lovely nurturing lady. The Queen of uh, Pentacles is Virgo but don't exclude Taurus or Capricorn. You could be meeting this lady um, or you could be um, finding out that you're pregnant for instance if you're too mature then you might be finding out that you're going to become a grandmother or an aunt. Like I said a friend of yours might be pregnant you might be hearing of a birth and this could be a tourist or this could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. Now We've got the tree upside down from the Lenaman, and I'm only doing the Lenaman side, not the Cartomancy. Now, if the tree is up like that, it means like a family tree, extending the family tree. It could mean also the health. It, to me, the tree also means money. Yes, money doesn't grow on trees, but it does mean money because usually the tree is green and green is money. It also means healing and it also means the heart chakra. The family is the, the heart, right? We love our families and then I get to hear blood is thicker than water. So perhaps uh, since it's upside down, uh, family you're not very close to your family. When the tree is in the right way up it means health. There might be an issue with your health. There could be an issue that you don't have enough space. You don't have enough money. Uh, money is coming to you when it's in the right way up. Okay I have to think things I'm uh, think things through because there's also messages coming through. When uh, the money will come to you when it's the right way up. Okay, so it's family, the family tree, health, consider your health. You might not have enough space so go outside, create more space, you need rest, take care of your health. When it's upside down then I say right you don't have to take care of your health. Everything seems to be all right. Um, you might not have enough money, you might not be close uh, uh, to family or you might not be rooted because the tree also has roots. So you might not be feeling very secure or well in the place that you are working in or where you are living. So that is the tree upside down. So at the moment you might have worry, uh, worry about money. Um, 
uh, especially with this COVID-19 a lot of people are laid off or delayed in work so perhaps money is an issue here and it's making you stress so you need to do something about your space okay you need to heal okay you could um, also the, it is the heart open your heart okay perhaps you've shut off your heart try to open your heart to uh, healing now then you've got the moon there are things that you don't know because the moon also has a dark side not only the light side Okay, so you might have to do some more research with regards to a question or a situation. Um, you are in the spotlight because that was the illumination that I just explained. The moon is a spotlight. You might be, uh, you are in the spotlight, but there might be a Pisces that has an eye on you. The angels have given you the doorway and, um, to step through to a new beginning listen to your intuition okay like I said there might be a Pisces since the moon represents Pisces there might be a Pisces that is interested in you listen to your intuition and your higher self perhaps your psyche or your third eye is opening up wow beautiful don't be scared if you feel a bit weird <laughs> Don't think there are voices in your head. Huh. No, 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 no. Those are just your higher conscious um, uh, putting thoughts in your head. That's your higher conscious speaking to you. Listen to those ideas, note them down, and see whether you can bring them into the material world. Like if you want to go traveling, or a new job, or a new career, that could be a new idea. So go after it and see what you can do with it like I said you need more information with regards to a situation or a question but it could also be a person because we've got the fox the fox it has also got a couple of meanings the fox is very analytical very sly though can be a smooth talker don't trust a fox okay and really the fox is quite a lovely little animal in real life he's got a bad name because he's so sly and he's so analytical he's very clever so that is the bad image that the fox got but he isn't that bad but let's keep it to the traditional uh, meaning be careful of people that are sly mean uh, not trustworthy okay you can't trust people like that so smooth talkers if your intuition is saying something is not right or it's too good to be true then it usually isn't okay so be careful remember a fox sheds his fur but not his tricks and when I see the fox this could also have a positive side to it it means that you might be a, a very precise worker you watch out for details and perfection and perhaps your boss might be looking down on you and this could be in the future a promotion there might be a promotion for you in it okay somebody's keeping an eye on you on how you are what you do okay and that's the positive sense perhaps it is time that you know that to be more precise and more analytical cross your T's dot your I's because there could be a good result ahead of you you've got the eight of cups you want excitement you want um, adventure well when you get this card I always say don't throw an old pair of shoes away before you've got new ones yes it's good to look into the future and wanting excitement and and adventure you will if you cross your T and dot your eyes then you will have change in the future this could even happen on Friday or at the weekend people are noticing you definitely because look how strong the bear is standing he's standing with both feet on the ground 
and some people could be jealous of you with, because of your strength, your tenacity, your your you go and get uh, go get uh, attitude. Um, they love the way you seek adventure because you are uh, adventurous and an exciting person to know. That is what I'm feeling here. Okay and you protect everything that's dear to you and that you love nobody you believe in here you are you believe in precision being right being honest that is also that's coming is wonderful i love it when the the extra psyche starts working outside the cards you know the cards do enhance they make things work with me and I love it when it happens so yes you are very intelligent you can think on your feet magic you can make the magic work you will get what you want because you are thinking look at this person looking out there thinking but and all these birds air thinking so don't worry it will come to you you're nearly there now at the weekend you've got the judgment card that means new beginnings well there you are i told you you were going to get it or a second chance now capricorn had something about the past coming back or whatever and this is something could be coming back to you too from the past there could be a reconciliation there could be a second chance at a job that you loved perhaps you're you're looking towards the past in that direction because the future for me is that direction so perhaps you had more uh, excitement uh, in the past and I think you might be looking back but also towards the future because he's looking towards the horizon as well so perhaps you're longing to go back to a firm or a similar work and I think that is your wish but you you will get your wish you will get your wish because the star means your wish your goal and I think you will get it and look at that that's my watch and it was highlighting the star magic i thought it was an orb because they do come round the orbs okay now um so your wish and goal is coming true okay you have been navigating i think um and thinking how to get back to that uh, time that you liked so much or oh, that was a good time it's rebirth rebirth and here we've got birth rebirth okay so you m will get a second chance get more information okay get more information and that's what I said with the moon you need more to do more research so if you want this adventure uh, and excitement back into your life um, and then um, do the research be careful of sly people perhaps there was a sly person at uh, in the past and you didn't trust them um, this could be at work I'm getting a feeling this is more to do with work or a place that you lived at and it um, it had uh, repercussions for your health okay but you have learned to stand on your feet you've become more sly more intellectual more looking at things from a different perspective higher up because he's standing on his feet he's really tall um, and also um, seeing things um, not as they are but you know when somebody writes a story you've got black and white lines you are reading between the lines you you have got experience and you've done it you've got knowledge you've perhaps worked on your psyche your intuition you can feel when people are telling you the truth or not okay and you're not gullible anymore that is what I'm feeling here you've grown up I don't know why but that is what um, uh, 
you know you can be 80 and you can still need to grow up it's the attitude you've changed your attitude you're a wonderful person people are looking up at you you can stand your ground now you're not letting anybody demise you or degradate you um, and you won't you you've turned this round like that now okay this is lying in the past you've turned it round okay you are strong so that's why you might get a second chance you will get a second chance or a new beginning the choice is yours of course if you if you want to go back to the past but remember the past is the past so it won't be the same anyway because you hold the key at the present and for the future so you can set the the tone of what you want you can say no you've learned to say no so if there was a boss that you you had colleagues that were great fun but the boss was a niggly big um, niggly person or he was um, a bossy person you can say no nicely wow I really you've learned your lessons you've come a far far <sighs> amazing I just hear you've come far 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 realize that doesn't matter how old you are it could be with at work but it could also be with a person you've learned a heck of a lot you know what you want that's why you can wish you can go for your wish I think this is amazing and how the angels have said get more information and then the moon wow that resonates I'm also hearing what are you Ah, oh, I don't know this is working overtime what are you turning your back on that is what I'm hearing and that's why I'm pausing what are you turning your back on now learn from the past don't do things in haste or you have to repent in leisure and you are strong enough to realize what you uh, what you want and I think you have learned from the past I think you've become more analytical and stronger and sure of yourself I think like I said you've turned the tree round Wow that's great I hope you think um, that's great too if that's happened love yourself a little bit more Aquarius I love you and thank you for coming back and get sharing the reading with me ciao ciao